Hi Libra, if you want to come on in see your ink blot made in your name and essence, feel free to take a screenshot so you can scry in your own time and terms. But if you're willing to join me, have a seat and we'll take a deep breath, releasing the race and the rush, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support with her psyche and psychic senses. Libra, if I may, thank you. I'm going to dig in here and thank you for holding space so I can share my insights. Gratitude. All right, let's gaze to gain. Oh, Libra, I want to take a deep, deep breath. If I'm being very honest in the beginning, you know, the typical open, you know, let's take a deep breath, releasing the race and the rush. I wanted to stay there a little longer. I wanted to stay there. It felt really safe and it felt calming and soothing i don't know maybe that's the the energy of libras or the librarians as i like to call you mm. i'm seeing uh, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree i will always apologize for my singing and yet i consistently continue to do it uh so they're right there you can see that Okay, so there's, as usual, and I'm sure there's more, but uh, the the roads that I'm being drawn to that are the strongest is one. This is a communication between two turtle doves. So it could be a relationship or a really passionate friendship. And they're, you know, snuggled and close and they're talking. It, it's very intimate, but I'm. it's not necessarily romantic, but it could be Libra for you. And what their connection pours out is very heart authentic. And it's kind of like a water slide, but it's what they share out beyond themselves. Lungs of love, I just heard. Lungs of love. And maybe that was that whole breath at the beginning just want to lavish in that mm. it's beautiful so it might be indicative of a connection and when I travel down another you know interesting I'm seeing the Niagara Niagara Falls um, like you can take a picture but I believe it's been done perhaps in the past maybe it's just lore anyway a barrel over the falls so in this other context I'm seeing these two people that have had a relationship in the past or more recent and they're having to come close to close to discuss something and when I say discuss it's also because what's going to kind of spew from the conversation kind of feels disgusting but it's like hashing things out and in the very same way a the other storyline, it's clearing the heart space. Oh, I just saw like a pipe that's been blocked for a while. And somebody opened it. And for a while, it's like sludgy. And that's what kind of feels like the conversation. Like you just need to, bleh, this is it. This is the reality. This is my version of reality. Respectful that the other person may have a slightly different version of reality or uh, received it differently. I'm seeing Oscar the Grouch as well. Uh, no matter which storyline I follow through, though, the, the effects is the same. That lungs of love, that this relationship is harmonious and it just emanates love beyond the being. And it's like it's noticed and felt by others. And even if you're going to have this gross conversation... It's still going to like peel open uh, the heart space to, to heal. Something about a pig roast. And seagulls. Down here. These are like higher self seagulls. I feel like I'm suddenly like getting comfy in my chair. I'm like, mmm. 
It was nice though. I, I felt like somebody had the gall. Like they had the gall. And they're kind of, this uh, could be, a, I really feel like it's another conversation of some sort. Maybe it's within the self. But somebody had the gall. And I don't know if it's about the way maybe you perceive things from a higher perspective or your ability being, you know, the Libras and what really what I feel is like some form of earthly Akashic record artist or something. You're able to capture things while trying to maintain the balance of non-favoritism. I kind of got off track there, but somebody had the gall to almost attack earthly, maybe even with speech, say something that would offend your higher perspective of something. Like, I feel like it's in one specific context. Hmm. It's very interesting. There's a little bench up here above these turtle doves. Oh, sorry. The mirror. Feels like a park bench. Okay, and if I'm being very honest, I don't know why I say that because I typically am very honest. Like, there's no reason for me not to be. <laughs> um, I think it's just a politeness or a speech. Maybe that's, I feel like that might be part of this, Libra is. You know, being the librarians, there's this quietness or um, high respect or, you know, don't make a lot of noise. And, and then the librarian is like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's a politeness, but I feel like things might have been said out of habitual politeness or out of respect for another, but it might not have always been reciprocated. And this park bench is, I'm seeing Central Park, and that is symbolic of coming to a central space between the two. Even if this, this might even be within the self, if you're not resonating. If it's personal or professional, this could be a conversation offside. Um, like a mentor or a boss or a coworker. Nonetheless, I, I want to come back to the come back to the bench. There's something about it being like in Central Park or I almost said Central Park, and it being on common ground. So the trees, which I like to perceive as. The, the living acacia, right? Every leaf, every story, every pencil made, and uh, they are breathing records, drawing in, drawing out. But something about, again, this lungs of like the earthly realm and it being central to this conversation. So nothing's favored, neither is favored. The lungs of love, this, it's all very still, somebody had the gall. I need to get to my craw, I'm not gonna lie. Like it, it feels a little offensive and I'm not an overly sensitive person. That's not that's not true. I am a very sensitive person, but in regards to opinions or perspectives. But this feels sharp, like wh why would you say that? Like out of all the people, it, it I don't know, it, it just it feels hurtful. Like it come it came from someone closer. Yeah, okay. So above these park bench people, I know I'm up here. I'm seeing two satellite dishes and they have, but they're like old ones. And I say old ones like, I don't know, like 80s, 70s or 80s, like those massive satellite dishes. Or maybe they're just still big nowadays, but for different space things anyway uh, they've got like pokey things and there's a light one and a dark one and it could be shadow and shine or it just could simply be different understanding different frequencies and they're looking 
and they're shifting ever so slightly above this conversation. But now I'm being asked to go above the conversation. It's just not the conversation. Within the Libra, there's like looking for particular frequencies. Some are cleansing. Um, and it's rising on up to like this. I'm going to say it like what... <clears throat> what seems impossible but it's finding uh, some sort of alchemy or tethering of two signals to get a, a, a better view libras i'm gonna start adding oh no i really what surprising okay we're in the hermetic deck here libras okay what else do we have here for libras i'm just gonna kind of cleanse the palette for a moment of my earthly eyes Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links below to help a gal grow if you'd like to support or donate. <clears throat> Keep clearing my throat, Libra. The gall. <laughs> something about like holding my composure is how I'm feeling. And I was just asked to come back to the middle of the two turtle doves in a partridge in a bear tree. Something might be celebratory with that pig roast, or maybe that means something to you. Hold a memory, a loving memory, a gathering kind of memory. What is that game? Kerplunk? Kerplunk. Okay, so I'm, I don't actually know if I play, no, I'm pretty sure I played the game. It doesn't matter. So I think it's like Jenga-y. And there's a bunch of sticks, and I'm not really sure if there's things in the Kerplunk or there's one thing. Doesn't matter. So I'm seeing the game Kerplunk and a bunch of sticks. And maybe throughout this conversation with yourself, personal, professional, romantic, platonic, as you're unrevealing things, uh, just revealing things or conversing, bringing them to speech, and so on things i see like little symbols i almost want to call them runes like they they stand for something and you know what they stand for and maybe this other person but that's not really my concern and as this conversation takes hold or has had these symbols and sigils fall like kerplunk and then it's left with i really wish i had them right now but let's just say for simplicity's sake give me a moment Right, so you pull out some sticks and kerplunk. And you'll be able to look at this symbol and know what it represents. Maybe it's over a lifetime journey with this person, with this aspect of yourself, ideas, this or the other. And you'll be able to read them once the gameplay is done. Maybe you want to look into collecting runes specifically like shells, sand, crystals, something really tangible that can touch a lot of points like reflexology in the hands. And then, but you know what they mean. All right, Libras, I'm going to flip it to win it here. There, okay. I'm sorry if I went on a yammering rant, but as always, thank you for holding space. Sorry, not sorry, right? It's part of the empathic exploration that I thoroughly enjoy. Ace of Cups. There we go. Lord of the Root of the Powers of Water. This is that emotional healing. <clears throat> is somebody, if this conversation or a meeting with your boss or a meeting of your own mind, there is preparation to, to speak clearly, calmly, not be disturbed by the opinions of someone else that may have the gall to... Oh, okay. If they're insulting, I hear that. If they're insulting the gall, but I don't feel like we should look out for that. Lord of Victory. Six of Wands. Uh, Central Perk. No, oh my goodness. Now, see, I have that in my head. Central Park, that central conversation, that central space. It could be an office space. <clears throat> it could be something. But it's going to bring in 
I'm hearing all of these hazards. Get them out. Get them out. What else am I seeing here in the ink blot? Thank you. Princess of the Palace of Floods, Princess of Cups, and the Magician. Okay, Libra, this is very... I'm going to wander into the aspects of the self that the male right now, the male energy is in the magician and is working with the elixir of the female energy of water. They're working together to make something happen. Victory. And a fountain that is full, but they're working together. Something about the sinuses when I go back into your ink blot. The sinuses. I almost like want to tap like the to help move it through. There might be a little bit of a runny nose to help move any um, blockages in the sinus. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Somebody's handing you a bouquet. Congratulations. Somebody is very happy. Feels like an older gentleman, I'm not gonna lie. It could be somebody in spirit or somebody you're going to meet if, or maybe you already are interacting and they're kind of smitten with you. So the, before when we were like at the goal and now I'm like, ooh, so smitten and it's sweet, it's endearing. It's not about uh, trying to woo you, but they do have a bouquet, like they want to soften. There's something about the softness, like almost like in the way to approach you in this very balanced way. And I'm seeing one of those moustaches with, it's very long and thin, probably just from cartoon characters, but maybe not. Hmm. If it's not somebody coming towards you and you're like, no, I'm good right now. This is that magician, your male magician energy working with the feminine eyes the feminine energy eyes not rose colored glasses i just heard not rose colored glasses something about the brows bushy brows there's some sort of like swords up there as well see them there I'm seeing them as swords like a little bit of worry like even if somebody was uh, to approach you in this sweet manner, I kind of feel like you might be working a little slower because of what you've been through. Queen of Passage. Like they're going to present you with something. It does feel romantic. I'm not going to lie. Why do I keep saying that? Libra, did somebody lie to you? Oh, I feel like somebody maybe because that keeps coming up a lot. All right, Libras, getting ready to close here. Sinuses, draining out the nose. Uh, yeah, they might, and again, just speak clearly and calmly that, you know, I've, I've been through some stuff. Queen of Passage. I've been through some, pass some passion or professional, and I'm just kind of coming out into the clearing, and I'm not in a huge rush. Oh, look, at there's lots going on. Dreaming in the green man in reverse. Not so much that it's concerned that it's in reverse, but it just makes me feel like there might be a hesitancy if this person is approaching personally. And that's fine. It, it's just to speak that it needs to be soft because I definitely feel, if I can do this, like they look very similar. There's a, there's a compassion there. And whenever you're dreaming about for the future, there will be a victory. There, there is a victory. There's that celebration, that pig roast, the flowers, the bugles. They're beautiful bugles. Da, 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 da. 
Libra, it's wonderful. I'm also seeing a fish tank. And like one little guppy is in there. Uh, and this makes me feel like the Queen of Passage in here. And you're just, you're doing your thing. You're doing your thing to find your equilibrium again and not not be defeated by what was, but, but learning from them, the librarians. You know, you're learning from the way you lived before, interacted with somebody, what you tolerated. You understand the exchange. You understand it now or will be very soon. And it will bring about this blended softness with strength, the magician with the princess. You know, they can work together and really the future that you've been dreaming of personally or professionally, Libras, it's there. You're working your way towards it and it feels like lungs of love. So until next time, Libras, thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe, and until next time, thank you.